Now, let me take you a little bit into the unique world of epigenetics. Epigenetics is a science that shows that we do not need to be victims of our genetic inheritance. The Human Genome Project was expected to confirm the existence of over 100,000 individual genes. However, it was discovered that only about 23,000 genes make up the human genome, barely more than the common fruit fly, and far less than those found in a single grain of rice. This raises the question of what else could be controlling gene expression. The answer is epigenetics. This is interaction between environmental signals and the process of adaptation that living systems use to thrive. In the 1700s, Jean-Baptiste Lamarck proposed that life forms could acquire information from their environment and incorporate it into their epigenome. Quantum physics was incorporated into the field of molecular biology by Erwin Schrödinger. This set the basis for what we now know as epigenetics. Today, we know that gene expression is not mediated by coding DNA that represents only 2% of our genetic expression. It is rather influenced by informational signals received from the environment by non-coding DNA, which represent the remaining 98% of what is referred to as junk DNA. Harmful signals emanating from the environment cause disharmony. The human body responds accordingly, changing the phenotype without altering the genotype. This change is reflected in our physiology. These signals include information from the air we breathe, the foods we eat, the impact of the electromagnetic environment in our bodies, and even the 50,000 plus thoughts that we have per day. The s drive detects which epigenetic signals influence gene expression. So that changes in our diet, nutrition and lifestyle can be adopted to support optimal physiology. 